Hey everybody, Christina Careless here. Today I'm going to do a GIMP tutorial on how to create a preppy edit. So this is my example of a preppy edit. They have vectors and, you know, everything like that. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to make a new image. And I'm just going to keep with the height and width of the original photo. You can do whatever you want though. Click OK. up and sized. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer because I'm going to create a background, a background, this background here. So see how it is red to orange to yellow? I'm going to create a sort of sunny look to it. Okay, so first I need to fill it in with my swirls pattern. And then I'm going to get my red and yellow ready, and I'm going to blend it onto there. And make sure you have radial selected, and there you go. Actually, that's backwards. My bad. Okay. <laughs> so, there we go. Okay, so it kind of looks kind of like a sun. Not really, but you get it. Okay, so I'm going to have this on multiply. That way the black will show through, but I pretty much covered all of the white. Okay, so I'm going to merge down, so that's all one layer now. And now I'm going to create the vector. So for this vector, I need three new layers. And I'm going to use a plaid, my uh, plaid pattern. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select my vector brush. Uh, you can make vectors by hand each time but I prefer to have one, well I have, I have quite a few on hand, I just save them as brushes. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, I have a YouTube video for that already, so you can either go look for that, or I can, I'll, I'll link it in the caption so you can find it. Okay, so I just put the brush on there and then grew it, well, I scaled it to size. Okay, so now I'm going to alpha to select in this, that way it selects all of it. If you have a vector that has more than one color, or if you want to make it more than one color, you can individually select them with your fuzzy select tool. But since I want them all the same, I just, I'm just going to keep it that way. Okay, so now I'm going to bucket fill it with the plaid. And then I'm going to bucket fill the other layer with red because I want this to be a red plaid, oops, not that dark, mm, do overlay, no, 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 screen, there we go, okay, so this created kind of like a picnic-y kind of thing, okay, another thing I like to do is I like to give my little vector here, since it doesn't really stand out, I want there to be a drop shadow. So I just took the brush and I Gaussian blurred it. That way there's kind of like a shadow to it all. Okay, so I'm going to merge down because those are ready. And now you want to go ahead and cut out the person that you're going to put on the photo. I already have her cut out. If you do not know how to, you're going to use your lasso, well, the little thing that looks like a lasso, it's the free select tool and you'd click on that and you will actually draw all around the person and then you will copy them copy and then just paste so since she's sideways I'm gonna go ahead and rotate her to where she's straight and I'm gonna scale her up a bit oh. make sure you click the little chain link. This way you aren't making the person look weird. Not distorting them in any way. Okay, so I'm going to center her. 
And another thing, oh, make sure you anchor it onto a new layer. You don't want to anchor it onto your already, uh, your layers that you already have. Okay, and what I, another thing I like to do to uh, make it so where any of the spots that I was too jagged with or, you know, just doesn't look right, I like to alpha to selection it and then shrink. And we're going to shrink it by three. And then you want to invert the selection and Gaussian blur. That way it blurs just the edge of the person and it doesn't look like you were all jagged with them or anything. Okay, so now I'm going to give her shirt a different, uh, different pattern. So what I want to do first is I want to zoom in so that I can see the shirt better. And I'm going to use the free select tool and just go around and select her shirt. And I'm going to make this kind of crappy because I'm doing it quick, but uh, you usually want to go in between each strand of hair. And I would take your time with this, but I don't want you guys to have to sit here for 10 minutes and watch me cut it out. So. It won't be as good as I normally do. And if you get a little bit outside of the person, that's fine. Like, I'll show you how to fix it if you do that. It's an easy, quick fix. Okay. Now I'm going to... Uh, invert the selection that way it's selected the rest of her and I'll go ahead and zoom out so you can see and I'm going to make it all black and white that way her shirt stands out more and you can select between all of these I'm just gonna click luminosity okay so I want to go back and invert it again so that it's selecting the shirt and I'm gonna create two new layers Okay, so the first layer is going to be the pattern of her shirt, and I'm going to use cheetah print. Okay, now that looks like it's not even part of the picture, right? So we want to go ahead and multiply it. That way it's realistic looking. Okay, so then for the next one, you want to go ahead and blend it. Now I'm going to blend it was a linear, that way it's not like a middle of sunshine in her belly button or something. <laughs> that was too much. And then this layer, I'm just going to find a mode that I like. And I like multiply. Okay, so now what you want to do is, since I came out a little bit too far over here, what you want to do is select, or alpha to selection, the original picture and then invert it and then just go ahead oop, make sure your brush is on a circle and you're going to just delete all of the stuff that went outside of the picture can't really tell but that little bit over there that I messed up with is gone okay so you want to merge these down Make sure you merge down the one closest to her first, or the person you're editing, because uh, if you merge them down from the top to bottom, you'll actually uh, mess up the modes. Sometimes they'll completely disappear, sometimes they just look funny. Okay, so now I'm going to create a border. I want to alpha to selection the background, and oh, I guess I should make new layers for it. I'm going to make two layers since uh, I'll make three. Three layers for it. And you can decide if you want the person to be above the border or if you want them below. I want her below. For some reason, she's not moving with that. Okay. So, you've got this alpha to selection. And we're going to go ahead and shrink it. And I'm going to go by 15. 
and then you're going to take the very or the middle one and we're going to bucket fill it with a pattern I forgot you have to invert this make sure you invert it or you're not going to get anything okay so now I'm going to do the same thing that I did with her shirt I'm going to select the layer above her and that way it's the same as her shirt pretty much Okay. I'm going to merge those together and now I'm going to grow it by five do five and select black as my color again Oops. gotta take it off the pattern fill okay now there's a black line around the border and I'm going to go ahead and repeat Gaussian blur that way it gives it a shadow okay well that is how I do my preppies um, of course I add text onto them and then watermark them with you know my sites editing watermark and that's about it so there you go that is how you do a preppy like me okay thanks for watching